So Ben Shapiro made a video called, I can't wait to explain this to my three-year-old. So let's talk about Ben Shapiro and conservatives explaining things to their three-year-olds. New York. Apparently, the, the left is now the enraged left. that the New York Rangers botched their Pride Night promotion. I'm because enraged. the rule, by the way, now is that LGBTQ pride involves everybody being forced to wear your flag. According to the New York Daily News, it wasn't a proud moment for the New York Rangers, whose botched Pride Night promotion ended up being ripped as a, quote, slap in the face to the LGBT community. The Rangers had promised to wear Pride-themed jerseys and use rainbow-colored stick tape during warm-ups, but they didn't ha that didn't happen. They wore regular game jerseys and normal stick tape. No, no, that's terrible. They didn't, they didn't make their, their hockey sticks gay. They didn't wear the gay jerseys during warm-ups. My God, how can, how can the United States stand such bigotry? Uh... I don't think anyone has been talking about this, but also if they said that they were going to do it and then they didn't do it, people are not mad because it wasn't gay hockey. They're mad because they were, they went to the event expecting an experience and didn't get that. So that's why, um, that's why they, that's a, that's a reasonable grievance. It's like going to uh, a Rihanna concert, but she never shows up, bro. Except all you wanted was some gay tape and some gay skates, some skating gays. Pride promotions are common in the NHL. Friday was the Rangers' seventh Pride night. All players wore Pride-themed jerseys in 2020, 2021, and 2022. Uh -huh. After the games, the gear was auctioned off for charity. The Rangers didn't address the matter on Saturday in a statement. The NHL did not return requests for comment. David Kilmanick. The president of the Queens-based LGBT network said, quote, if the Rangers are saying they're going to be celebrating Pride Night, everyone needs to come out and celebrate. Everyone! That's... I don't understand why these guys make up people to be mad at. Like, obviously, he's not even really mad. But, like, he wants people to be mad. So he can have clicks. Like, I, how does it work on people? It's so wild how so many people just eat this shit up. Like, I hear this and I just go, who fucking cares, dude? Yeah, it's just cringe. I agree. Like, it's just odd. Tolerance! Diversity! You will wear the flag and you will love it. Love nope. it. And if you don't, you are a bigot. Nope. Oh, man, the backlash to this nonsense is going to be so strong and I am here for it. Nope. All right, no one's so, talking about this. Wait, when did this come out? No one has been talking about this. One day ago? Nope. This is sports stuff a lot. Are you prepared to get on a flight? I'd be very surprised if that leads to any discourse whatsoever. It's hockey also. Your children then have to explain why that dude is wearing a dress? Well, prepare thyself because apparently this is now a thing. According to the Wall Street Journal, mm -hmm. when Tyler Curry joined JetBlue in 2022, mm -hmm. he was surprised to learn the airline offered its employees the choice to wear whichever uniform they wanted, regardless of gender. Perhaps he was surprised because that policy is idiotic. That policy is really, really stupid. Wow. I will tell you why. Okay. Ben Shapiro thinks that people need to wear specific clothing. Now, I was under the impression that I had freedom of speech and freedom of expression. I can wear this corn suit, right? Interesting. Let's see. Because boys should wear boy clothes and girls should wear girl clothes. I know this is really, really difficult stuff. That's it? What do you mean? What? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because boys should wear boy clothes and girls should wear girl clothes. I know this is really, really difficult stuff. That's not a fucking argument. You just, you said that they should do it because they should. You dumbass. Ben Shapiro sucks, dude. Surprise. Shocking, shocking headline. Ben Shapiro sucks. Actually, the title of this stream is Ben Shapiro triggered pooping his pants is super accurate. That doesn't mean the girls can't wear pants. There are such things as girl pants. But um, as a general rule, yes, men should wear male clothes and females should wear female clothes. Why? It is bad to deliberately blur the lines between the sexes. Why? 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 Okay, say that someone's intention when they wore something they liked, which is not the intention of this person. Let's say, let's say the intention of this person was to explicitly... Blur the lines between sexes. What does that even look like to you in your head? 
like the line for sexes is just now blurred. Like you see one person who confuses you and you're like, oh, what is that person have PP anywhere dress? And then your brain sort of like, you know, shake, shake, and, you, and then you like your lines are blurred. You're like, fucking what even is sex? What are sexes? And you're like, you have a panic about it because I fucking don't. What's the outrage for? I really need to know. Is there a conservative brave enough to talk to me about what the outrage is? Is Dave around? That pussy? Is Dave available or some other similar person? Come talk to me about why why you think people ought to dress the way they should because I feel like you've been brainwashed into being anti-freedom, you little freak. And it's particularly bad to expose children to that sort of gender confusion. What's confusing about it? Uh, newsflash. I grew up and have seen men in dresses. I grew up and saw trans people. I grew up and saw all sorts of different people. Just just before you were bitching about it. When you were, when, when you knew you were still like a tween. Because I was too. <laughs> we're like... Like, I saw all these people didn't, didn't, like, fuck me up or anything. And it certainly didn't affect me in a way that you think would be considered fucking me up. Like, <laughs> although he'd say, but you're in a corn suit. They made me. They forced me. I'm their servant. It's all controversial in today's days and day and age when you can't come up with a justification according to the left for not just walking around bare-ass naked in public. Okay. I'm of two minds on this. Number one, I don't give a shit if you're naked, personally. Number two, some people give a shit if you're naked, personally. So, yeah, that's why we can't, because some people don't want to see you naked. But that's only because we consider nakedness a social step beyond familiarity, or we have to consent to it. Right now, society is like, nudity is something we consent to view, hopefully. Like, that's the point. Like, you can't flash somebody. Um, and I believe that that's true. Uh, I don't care if I see your dick. Uh, like, it doesn't really affect me. I, I guess I care about the intent of you seeing my, making me see your dick. Like, if I just, if we're, like, if we're in a, look at this. Look at this little, little guy over here. If him and I are in the, the locker room, okay? And I see his little ding ding, his little ding ding in the, in the locker like, um, it's not a big deal to me. But if Ben Shapiro walks up to me and goes, look at my ding ding, look at my ding ding, which he would do. Imagine Ben Shapiro gleefully running up to me in a locker room. It's just the two of us. Okay. There's a little mist, nearby mist from the steamy showers. He's got me cornered. Okay. And he runs up to me like a little fucking leprechaun. He still has his yarmulke on, though. He's not totally naked. And he goes... And he runs up, you know, sort of like this. And he goes, look at my ding-ding, look at my ding-ding. That's the image I want in your head of Ben Shapiro. Okay? Moving forward. Seriously, try to do it. I, I want the left to explain why you should not be able to walk around bare-ass naked in public. Uh, because some people don't consent to that. And it's a part of socialization that requires consent right now to see someone naked. Yeah, definitely, probably forever. Um, but some places, like, have contextual nudity. Th like, so, like, let's say a nudist colony. Let's just, the hippies that he has in his head that like to be naked around each other. They still have consent-based nudity in that space. Everyone consented to experience the nudity. In fact, those communities say, hey, just so you know, we're fucking naked. And, like, nude beaches exist. Like, and all, everyone consents. But... If, again, if you ran up in the lot, like, like in the locker room, if you ran onto the nude beach going, look at my ding ding, look at my ding ding, people would, uh, which you would do, and he does do, for sure, definitely, 100%, that's real. I mean, sources say it's real. Okay, there's sources. Um, allegedly. Allegedly, he does this, sources say. <clears throat> says, look at my ding ding. Uh, <laughs> that would be violating consent even though it's just showing someone what you already were showing them. It's the context of you violating consent. So that's that's why, Ben. Um, it's easy. Easy stuff. We don't have to... Leftists are pretty good about this. This is... 
not hard. You have freedom of expression uh, up until the point when it violates someone's consent. Now, you, th- there's no violation of consent for to, for wearing something distasteful um, to a point, right? Like we all. I don't think we agree on some stuff, obviously, but I think we agree that like dresses are socially acceptable. Where members like a dress in and of itself is an acceptable thing for a person to wear. And so your delineation is someone that has a sex that they may or may not have according to your prescription of their, like, like you're only op you're, you're giving someone an optic pat down and assuming they have the sex you think they have because you think they feel masculine, even though, and even if someone admits to this, but like it's, it's an aesthetic difference that you have. It's not like, it doesn't rise to the to the social expectation that you would have for something that needs to be banned out of society, right? Now, if someone was wearing uh, their own fucking, I don't know, they I'm trying to think of something they can consensually do that would be fucked up. They they chopped up, uh, uh, they consensually chopped up a friend of theirs. Their friend was like, "Chop me up." Okay, I'll chop you up. And make me into a human necklace, like a Flava Flav human body and organ necklace. Consensual. Everything's consensual. I don't think that person would be allowed to walk around the streets because it would freak the children out. <laughs> I feel like people would, that's too distasteful for most people. I don't know if there'd be like laws against don't make Flava Flav human necklaces, but it would be like, bro, fucking don't do that. It's like indecent. This is, there's something indecent about this. We don't like it. Similarly, you can't walk around and jack off, but you can. Walk around on a nudist beach and be naked. You know what I'm saying? So, like, we just have lines. And I don't think someone wearing a perfectly acceptable article of clothing um, is is that. We could we could have discussions, I guess, about it. <laughs> uh, I don't see why we have to. I think we can all, with common sense, just be like, okay, it's not how I fuck with. I don't fuck with that personally. But they do. And they seem to be having a good time. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, your children being exposed to other people's living is an experience you'll have in life no matter what. And so you're just gonna have to fucking deal with that. They will exist. And some people will exist in ways that you find uh, acceptable. And some people will not. And you're just gonna have to fucking get over it. Or die mad. Either would make me happy. And don't tell me it's for sanitary reasons because you don't care. Nope. That's the point not. my friend Dennis Prager has never brought up sanitary <laughs> made before the left. Singing Reaper, thanks for the biddies. This is the real reason Ben gets upset about gender lines being blurred. Uh oh. How long is this video? Oh yeah. yeah. Have we seen this? How long is this video? Does not care about any of this sort of stuff. They just pretend they care about this sort of stuff. And, and then they will say it's utterly uncontroversial. Why shouldn't a man be allowed to just wear a dress on an airline in front of children? Why uh-huh. can't you tell your children? Why, I mean, I'm yeah. perfectly happy to tell my kids why that dude is wearing a dress. Okay. You just are not going to like my explanation very much. Sure, let's hear it. But according to the Wall Street Journal, the New York-based in-flight crew member had not worn dresses before, but intrigued. He asked a female colleague if he could try hers on. So he'd never worn a dress before mm-hmm. because society was like, well, yeah, that's, that's dumb. And then he was like, well, what if I wear a dress in public in front of all the customers? Mm-hmm. He liked the way it looked. So he took a leap of faith and ordered the dress. Yeah. I used to Seems be one fine. of those people that would walk through work with my head down, just keeping myself. And when I wear the dress, it makes me feel more confident. I, I wasn't aware that employment was supposed to be about making you feel good about yourself. No. Uh, those are those are two separate things, but you get to feel good about yourself while you're employed. You get to. That's part of it. Uh, yeah, dignified employment is absolutely an aspect uh, that we should champion in uh, American working life. <coughs> and the fact that you don't um, obviously just means to me that every bit of your wealth should be taken and that you should be forced to engage with capitalism the way a working class person does. Forced. I truly believe that's way better than any than any like prison sentence you could give one of these guys for any like like let, let's let's make community service <laughs> actually a thing. <coughs> like that's a reformative thing. Empathy, build empathy. Okay, Ben Shapiro, you don't have access to your millions of dollars. You have to live on this budget for this period of time uh, for the crime of being fucking loser. It has to do. 
Good luck and Godspeed. Leave it to Ben to mauled about rare or wholesome news story. I know, right? Like, oh, it gives me confidence. That's a bad thing, says Ben Shapiro. Ben, have you ever considered also having confidence? I was totally unaware of this. Guys, in the back room, uh, I'm just going to inform you. Your employment here is not about making you feel good about yourselves. Sorry to break it to you. Get a dog. In situation... Like, I don't know what what part of, like... There's some dudes who talk like that, and, you know... <laughs> Dave is one of these guys, too. Some dudes who talk like this, and it's like... They feel so fucking badass when they do it. I've never gotten it. It You know, the the... Ben Shapiro has the attitude of everyone's least favorite manager at the shitty job, right? He has the same attitude. Literally, he would be the shitty manager at McDonald's or whatever if he wasn't the child of rich parents. And that's a fucking fact. Like, you know guys like this, and that's that's part of what makes Ben Shapiro kind of annoying is because he has no discernible skill. He's not particularly smart. He's the beneficiary of of wealth. He's a nepo baby, dude. I pity this loser, dude. He sucks. There's something there's something to be said about how much happier you and I tend to be over these people even though they have uh wealth. Like they just every day they're seething and raging, and they're always their their lives are embroiled in drama constantly. I mean, fuck, dude. I I'm excited because it feels like we're not far off away from like the right wing apparatus, sort of like bubble bursting. Like there's all these people with all these fucking problems with each other right now type of manager to ask employees to stop talking or looking happy when they look over you yep. uh thanks for the biddies uh reaper no pickles thanks for the biddies also helps these rich white men to have a jewish man spread hate he's a great way to shield their terrible opinions oh yeah oh yeah these guys are all tokens <laughs> like all of them are there to fill a role Matt Walsh gives the appeal of someone who chops wood, but you know that bitch ever, never has. You seen that boy's arms? <laughs> Ain't no way. I saw his videos before. They were like, you should grow a beard. You have a weak fucking chin. <laughs> you have a magnificent beard, though. Situations like this, trust is at a low ebb, but there's one situation where you do need to trust somebody, and that is with your internet data. Oh, now my God. What a fucking slime. Three minutes in. With your internet data, express me. <laughs> in this conflict ending, I'll tell you what not everybody has an interest in. Have that is Magnetar. making sure that you're protected from the predations of woke capital. So woke capital, these are people who are actively using your dollars against you. You should check. Pure Talk is the answer. Oh, there was two ads. Classy. We had back-to-back ads. 50% off your Pure Talk Same Pure Talk through the airport with my head up. Yes, but everyone else looks at you like you're a wild person. That's not that that's not his problem. I'm assuming we're he's gendering this person properly. I probably shouldn't. Does anyone know? Because you're a dude wearing a dress. When did this become controversial stuff? But what do you mean? You're making a controversy. It's not controversial. It's literally not. Most people don't give a fuck. Most people, the only people who give a fuck are fuckboys and conservative losers. Often, they're the same. We wear your dress because you're insecure, bitch. Dude, I kind of wish that I got some kind of uh, glee out of dressing like that. But I don't. <laughs> I do like shorts, though. Sarah's going to try to get me into some fashion this year. I told her. I told her, dude, it was never instilled in me. I have no baseline for this. You got to help me then. If you if you want me to be looking like any any sort of person who knows how to dress, well, then you're going to help me build my knowledge base because I was not given these tools. Get some fashion. I mean, I have, I have, I have like nice clothes. <laughs> I'm not going to wear my nice shit on stream though. Fuck that. Unless that becomes my wardrobe. 
Uh, but right now, it's not my wardrobe. It's my nice clothes. It's my it's my socializing clothes. I don't like spending money on it. That's true. But I said that I would commit to spending money on it. Okay. One of the levels of the hype train is definitely Jake spends money on himself. <laughs> Be like, okay, I'll meet my goal and then, and then the hype train, the fucking subathon. Not the hype train. Jake spends money on himself. By the way, I mean, like you're trying to provoke a response and then you get the response. And you're like, why are you even looking? Face tattoo syndrome. It's everywhere, man. Curry says he's had nothing but positive feedback about the look. I'm sure that's true because everyone is shy of actually. <sighs> Shara got a shopping spree last year. Now it's your turn. That's true, actually. She did. Saying anything to like management. He remembers one passenger telling him she loved her kids, seeing this kind of diversity on a plane. Mm -hmm. What a virtue signal by mom right there. Ah, oh, that's great momming. Great momming to be like, yeah, I am fine with this. <laughs> I couldn't give a shit. Most people, look, when you go to like really public places like an airport, like there's so many fucking people there. I can't be pressed. I can't be pressed to give a shit about what anybody else looks like. I don't know why. Like, it's an airport. What do you give a fuck? <laughs> like, it's so lame, bro. <laughs> like, it's just like... I, I, I just can't get to that level of pathetic. It's just so pathetic to... If you were sitting in my living room and you were any fucking person in the world and you were like, mm, cute. Like, who gives a fuck? Why do you care? I really want to talk to somebody who cares a lot that I think a cis man likes wearing, uh, like, flight attendant attire that is in has, like, a dress bottom. I think there's a picture later. I love seeing this dude wearing a dress and explain to my three-year-old why pointing? this dude is wearing a dress. Okay, because this dude? people are different, honey. People are different, honey. It's so weird how... People are different, honey. Just listen. I love seeing this dude wearing a dress and explaining to my three-year-old why this dude is wearing a dress. Because people are different, honey. Because boys can be girls and girls can be boys. Yes. So when they grow up, they can be who they are. Yeah. Mostly passengers tell him, you look amazing, he reports. And they just wonder how he manages to walk in heels for as long as he does. Can we see By the, the way, picture? Tyler Curry looks like a ridiculous, <laughs> a ridiculous person. A ridiculous person. Okay, straight up, though, it works. I get it. Are, is he misgendering this person? I could only suspect. Or, or do they use he, him, or she, her? Or I, like I, now, I can't tell because it's always like it's always like they go out of their way to misgender people, so I can never tell. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I see nothing objectionable to this. I can't imagine why. This is like professional. <laughs> I have seen some slovenly men in these spaces with the same job. Okay. If this is, if <laughs> I can't find the article. Yeah. Like, I don't know how you can have any objection to this ever. Just, it blows me away. It's made up. There's no way he actually gives a fuck. He is like a, very male-looking human who is now wearing female clothes. Oh, no. Long bastions of traditional gender roles and rigidly defined uniforms. Airlines are operating, are opening up. Dude, you can look up an article from the fucking 1700s, 1800s, and it'll be articles of old men like, Oh, my, yesterday I was walking down the boulevard and I saw this... A person not wearing blush on their face. And can you imagine? And then they got their heads chopped off by Robespierre. Up their dress codes as conversations about identity evolve. You know, by the way, an easy fix for this would be to have, like, gender neutral uniforms. Skirts are gender neutral. Hot take. <laughs> like, you can wear a skirt. I don't care. It's gender neutral. All clothes are gender, gender neutral. It's not a big deal. The only the only clothing I can imagine that isn't gender neutral is like stuff 
it's not even like gender. It's just like body stuff's not body neutral. How about that? Like if you got tiny boobies or huge boobies and the cups are wrong in your thing, it's gonna be it's gonna be wonky on you unless that's what you're going for. Um, but like that's like the only part of clothing I can really think that has anything to do. And that's not, I mean he would consider it gendered, of course. But like, you know, <laughs> certainly there's things that are marketed on by gender still, obviously. But fuck it, who gives a fuck? You can wear stuff for anywhere. Just wear stuff that makes you happy and comfortable or whatever your your vibe is. No one gives a fuck. Literally no one does except for Ben Shapiro. And you're not going to see this motherfucker in the streets. He doesn't hang out. He's just on his, in his little desk. He doesn't go out and hang out with anybody. He doesn't have friends. You're not going to see this guy. And if you do, it's your obligation to look really good in clothing that Ben Shapiro would disagree with. You need to live your life every day in a way that Ben Shapiro would be be mad about or nitpick. Okay? As long as you're doing one thing a day minimum that Ben Shapiro would disapprove of, you're good in my book. Guess he hates World War II soldiers. Oh, this is classic, yeah. Oh, my God. But these men are fighting in war. This is uh, subversion. This is what it does. It's it's it's, it's different. They're not doing this because it makes them feel good. They're doing it for a joke. Which is probably true, but still. It still doesn't matter. It's valid either way. You can do things for jokes, too. Depends on, I guess, what the joke is. But I don't think the joke there was, we're all fucking pussies. I think the joke was that we can beat these guys in dresses. Or something. I don't know. Or, haha, we found dresses. And I look good in them. And then they fought, they all made love. And they were a polycule, Ben. Like wear pants and a, and a shirt. Bro. All right. Hear me out. I want to make this. Okay. Taika Waititi. This is... <laughs> ignore the corn... Or don't ignore it. doesn't matter. Taika Waititi. I want to make this show... And you should give me a million dollars and then a budget, but me a million dollars and then a budget or whatever the, the, the I don't know, the, the, probably less than that. I can't imagine the Writers Guild of America has nearly that much pull economically, whatever, whatever they make. I want to write a show where it's a bunch of like World War One or two or a made up war, doesn't matter, but kind of like. But yeah, they're all they're all they're all a polycule. There we go. I want it. I want it. War is hell, but not like every, like mash. But they're all gay. There we go. We got there. Mash, but gay. Gay mash. I want to make that. There we go. That's a good. That's a good. Nice political message. Not so much gore, but it comes. You know, it, it bring up the realities sometimes. Yeah, I'm in. No, actually gay. Actually gay. In fact, I, I bet there's lots of MASH that's homophobic. But they're not going to do this. Instead, they'd rather keep the gender binary, but allow... <laughs> Was MASH never homophobic? I don't know, dude. Men to participate. I, I don't know if it holds up on a rewatch. I'll have to, I'll have to actually do it, but... Man, not musical. It has to do... Not a musical. I stopped smiling. Singing Reaper, thanks for the biddies! Here's the article. They do identify he, him, by the way. So, yes, Queen, he does slay. Oh, let's go. Yeah, I mean, how do you how are you looking at this and being like, mm, doesn't look fine. Doesn't look good. I'm pissed off about this. Good-looking people looking good. Who gives a shit, bro? Yeah, I, who cares? Korea. Nice. They have some good attire. Cool, man. Oh, fuck. This is actually a dope ad. Wait, this is like a really dope ad. Good for them. Who did this? Branath, Branath International. Okay, fuck, dude. I mean, obviously... Like, hello? <laughs> does she drive th this plane is a dragon by the way <laughs> the one she attends is a dragon she intends the interior of a dragon she rides it 
these two people give you chips, <laughs> pretzels. <laughs> Jesus. Hate in female clothing. So that you have to explain to your kids about all this sort of stuff. Well, I know which airlines not to fly with my kids in the future. Okay. For some airlines. Fucking don't fly your kids uh, anywhere. <laughs> this means expanding the uniform policy to allow people <coughs> of all genders to select whichever uniform. Dude. Hmm. If you see Ben Shapiro in public and you are aggressively, aggressively, like, trying to make him hate his experience wherever he's at, <laughs> are you even a patriot, bro? <laughs> Do you even love America if you don't make Ben Shapiro miserable just by being yourself wherever you're at? Form kid. Makes them most comfortable. Eagles. Again, I'm oh totally unaware. Uh, like, I can't wait for the Biden administration to do this in the military also. Now, dudes wearing skirts in battle would be amazing. In 2021, Mr. Curry's airline, JetBlue, was ahead of the curve in opening up to the uniform hair and makeup policy to be gender inclusive, permitting employees to choose any options regardless of their gender. In, by the way, all of this is due to legal liability issues. You think the heads of the airlines are really interested in you fulfilling your personal dream of wearing lipstick and a dress if you're a dude on the flight? Liability issues. Uh, I mean, I don't give a fuck what their motivation is. This is a good thing. Uh, yeah, people specifically Sarah and I have had this conversation before. Um, have you ever been anywhere in your life? Have you been around before, guys? You know how like when you go around and you socialize with people? Aren't your favorite people the people who are comfortable with themselves? And aren't your least favorite people the people who are uncomfortable with themselves? <laughs> yeah. Uh... Like, or at least comfortable interacting with you. And if anybody doesn't give you that, you're like, it like gets a little weird, right? You have a little antisocial, like a fucking mad guy out there. Yeah. And this varies. Degrees of it. But yeah. People who are warm and accepting and just living their lives. Like, yeah. Might not fucking love them. But like, it's nice. It's nice to see someone expressing themselves. It's nice to see someone comfortable. And then you go to some place, like McDonald's still kind of does this in some places. Although I've noticed noticed uh, a leniency. Uh, they used to make a shave when I worked there, and they didn't allow piercings or, or visible tattoos or anything like that. Uh, it seems to have come around as the years progress. But, uh, yeah, I mean, people express themselves in all manner of way, and it's really hard to, it's really hard to tell people they can't do it in a culture that says you ought to. And I think that culture is right. I mean, whoever you are, whether you conform or not, like if you find perfect comfort in a business suit, if you find perfect comfort in living exactly how Ben Shapiro's style is, that's what I want you to live like. It's not a critique on it. And if you don't know how to dress yourself, you boy, uh, then I don't care either. Like be a slob. It doesn't matter. Whatever you're comfy in. Um, and whatever. But if you want to make a change, then make that and just do that. And then, that's what I hope for everybody. I don't know how to have I don't know how to have hard feelings about that. You think they really think it's great for business? Or are they doing that because they know that you will probably try to sue them for gender discrimination or some such bull crap? <laughs> In twenty twenty two, Alaska Airlines and Virgin Atlantic <laughs> began allowing all dweeb, flight bro. crew members to wear whichever uniform they wish, regardless of gender, and introduced <laughs> badges indicating pronouns. And Canada's oh, WestJet no. redid its uniforms in 2022. With an okay, okay. So these people, this business is running their business how they want with the freedom, the free market, which is a very good thing, right? The free market, and they're doing all these things because they know that people will be more likely to choose them if they're friendly to multiple identities because everybody at this point knows somebody with an identity that Ben Shapiro would disapprove of, okay? So... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is this is appealing for people who often feel uncomfortable in social places. It alleviates some of that. This is very smart marketing. And if they actually follow through and make it a very open place like that, yeah, I definitely think that JetBlue, especially in the era of airlines obviously not giving a fuck about customers, and it's, it's literally gotten a hold of by capitalism to a point when uh, – I mean, they're trying to they're trying to re relax fucking regulations on the safety and shit. 
like obviously they're being they're lobbying because it costs a lot of money to maintain those standards and it's like and they're trying to fit more fucking people in the same size of planes and they're trying to cut corners and shit one of these days we're gonna have like not not right now but you know whenever the next generation of planes comes out and if they do pass something like that which i mean with the democrats in charge probably not they're they they like the regulations and bureaucracy but but man i see gender inclusivity letting employees choose between lakes and rocky mountain collections instead of women and men sure uniform styles are being redesigned to appear less traditionally gendered Alaska is developing new gender-neutral uniforms with input from cabin members. In 2021, Iceland's Play Airlines debuted non-gender-specific uniforms like boxy blazers and pants. Pair- yes. Not all, this, is, this serves two purposes. This serves the purpose of uh, all the wokey shit that Ben Shapiro is so terrified of. Sure, maybe. But also, it, it, serves, it serves like a pragmatic purpose. Like, why be such a stickler for it? You could just you could just have fewer articles of clothing overall. We don't have to. We could have higher quality things that last longer, that are made more ethically, and it wouldn't be that big a deal because it wouldn't. The goal of these businesses wouldn't be to just constantly have to grind, and and they're forced to lower quality so they can lower co- costs so they can make money. Because capitalism forces that situation. It's very hard to maintain any business ethics, like in quality standards, when you have to constantly make rent, constantly. And if you're not innovating all the time, unless you have uh, like loyal regulars, I guess, especially for like a bespoke fucking clothing shop, it's really tough. But if you have communities where instead of instead of like, you know, all this fast fashion shit, they have communities with clothing makers. Uh, and this is like really commie stuff, but like, like obviously you'd have, you know, international brands and stuff, but like, I don't think we're going to get away from that anytime soon. Certainly not in our lifetimes. Um, it's, it's, I guess I don't, I feel like it's a conservative ideal to be like, let's make quality things and pay workers fairly for that. I have no idea how this isn't a conservative viewpoint like on any topic high quality locally made things that are ethically sourced that people are paid fairly for these are conservative ideals no clue why they 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 love the corporation control over their consumerist tendency no fucking idea why they love it did you make it from zucchini that you made and picked yourself are you a real anarchists i'm just kidding i don't i don't have a garden yet either i love zooks though they make really pretty flowers paired with sneakers instead of high heels and brogues korea's low-cost aero k airline boasts contemporary looking pieces for all genders like well it's january here we don't have zook like diagonal striped tops and navy jackets okay I, I just have a question when did it become the job of the airlines to make their employees feel good about themselves with their mode of dress osha whenever osha started but now they're applying that ethic to mental health because studies show that mental health is a real and important thing in the productivity of laborers. Do you? Need, why don't they give a fuck? You don't have to even have empathy. You could have cold, hard cash on the mind. People are more productive when they are happy and, and not overworked and, and compensated properly for their labor. Like, these are very easy things. You don't have to be a fucking lefty to agree with that stuff. People like being paid fairly and have a good work-life balance and have good times at work. Yep. Sometimes work is hard, but it doesn't have to be bad. You know what I'm saying? No clue why these people... Look at him. He's got the fucking... He's got the Kubrick stare right now. You will work. You will work. You will work for me. I've never done manual labor in my whole life. I've never once hurt myself in a workplace accident. I've never once been worried about where my next meal was coming from or had to wait till payday to pay an important bill. (sighs) I wish Ben Shapiro deep, resonant, life-shaking poverty. Truly. I wish for him to experience true rock bottom. None of them can. None of them can do it. Many of you have and do. 
and are way better people. And it's nuts. These people project all the time. They say they say that the working class is entitled. Really? Interesting. How about how about you, Ben? You grew up entitled. Strip away every advantage you had economically from your parents and start over from scratch. None of your own shit. None of your bank accounts. Start from scratch. You have 30 days to pay rent. Start. You have no money. We'll give them, we'll give them some ramen. Like three Cokes. A water. And leftovers from three days ago when you were able to afford Chinese as a treat in this food court. Like literally, literally start where most people have been and are right now. He can't do it. None of them can fucking do it. There's very few of these these guys that didn't come from money. Why doesn't the airline just say, here is what the women wear and here is what the men wear? End of story. Because they're not authoritarian. And the answer is absolute sheer cowardice. It is ridiculous. Cowardice. And now you've placed the onus on parents to explain why some people are crazy enough to want to wear the clothes of the opposite gender. Party of personal responsibility. It is, it is the onus is on you to explain shit to your own kids. Yeah. Yep. Conservatives, again can't even live by their own fucking rules. It is your job as you being a parent to your kid that I'd fucking choose you to have. Do you think I would agree with that? Do you think that I would say, yes, Ben Shapiro, procreate? No, you made that choice. It is your responsibility, not mine, to explain to your child my behavior. Yes, true. If the child asks me, I'll explain it. You fucking loser. God, they're all fucking slime. literally know people like this that you've worked with, don't you? Just fucking Dunning-Kruger. No skills themselves. <laughs> In public. Oh, as a son, dude. As a deliberate attempt to force these sorts of conversations with small children. Force these conversations? It's not a deliberate attempt. I don't give a fuck what your kid... I don't care what your kid's experience is. Shocker. I don't give a fuck about Timmy Shapiro. I do not consider Tim Shapiro, Ben, ben Jr. Shapiro, I don't know what his name is. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. No one should ever think about Ben Shapiro's kid before they do something. Jesus Christ. What a fucking loser. Literally all these people are like, please think of me before you make a decision. Fuck off. Like... It has to do. Literally, they're harming people over this idea. No, fuck you. These guys deserve the worst lives. If I have to explain to my son why people like Ben exist without empathy, he can put up with explaining what to his kid clothes. Exactly. And it's an attempt to propagandize in favor of gender confusion, obviously. That's the only reason to do this. Nope, it's just, it just feels good. And then when you notice, they get mad. Again, this, it's, the face tattoo syndrome, I, I've mentioned it before. It's a thing. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. Okay. Be doing something deliberately, politically provocative in order to elicit a response. And then you attack people for noticing. It's everywhere. Why do you think you're the main character, Ben? Like, it's so weird. No one gives a fuck about Ben. Sh Literally nobody is thinking about... That's why I said you should live a way that makes Ben Shapiro mad. Because that's what he believes. He believes people are out here just literally. You're, you're here pissing him off on purpose. So do it. Fucking do it. Piss Ben Shapiro off. Send pictures to Ben Shapiro of you looking good and stuff he would disagree with. When I dye my hair, I'm going to. We should. We should remind me to tweet Ben Shapiro. <laughs> just tweet Ben Shapiro images of yourself. Under wherever, <laughs> wherever he starts disagreeing, we'll find a tweet. He'll say at some point, "I'm done with I'm done with Ben. Fuck this guy, dude. He sucks. I'm good." <laughs> he was done with this the video anyway. 
there's no fucking reason to give a shit about what other people got going on. I couldn't care less, man. Ah, oh, God, it's just such baby dick shit. <laughs> there's no way. If you care a lot about what somebody else is wearing, you have a baby dick. I didn't make it up. It's science. It's the only the chromosome that makes you have that opinion makes you have a baby dick too. It's just it's connected. It's just it's biology.